How could you tell me to sell the only land I have to give you the money to go and lavish? Eh? I remember selling a plot of land. I gave you the money to go and start up a business of your choice. You squandered it. I was able to convince my in-law, Paul, to send you abroad. He spent almost two million naira in sending you abroad. All you did was to go there and join a terrorist group. And you were repatriated. Now, you are asking me to sell the only land left. Chinedu, this won't work. Yes. Papa, you see that land. You will sell that land and give me the money to travel to the city and start up a good business for myself. Okay, Mitchell, no. ah, you should be ashamed of yourself. I know of some of your mates that were not giving a dime, but they are now millionaires and they are doing very well and taking care of their parents. You want them to, you want your father to, to sell the, the, the only plot of land he has and, and give you the money so that you go and squander like uh, as usual. Mama, leave me alone. I should Mama, leave me. leave me alone. Papa, you see that land? You must sell that land. Or oh, something terrible must happen to you. You are threatening me, your father. Hey! Hey! Do you know the weight of what you just said now? Do you know the meaning of what you just said now? Eh? Hey! He must sell that land and give me the money. He must sell that land and give me the money. Uh -uh. Come back here! Come back here and apologize to your father! Come back here your father! I am set up, you are working out. Hey. Hey. I am going to bring Jimmy to Spamata before the elders of the skin. Yes. Family. My family is fine. Ha. How is um, Junior and his siblings? We are fine, no. We are fine. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, my sister. Um, I actually came to buy wine. Oh. The latest wine. <laughs> we have everything you need. So which one is the latest? Don't worry. I will give you the latest and the sweetest. Oh, <laughs> that's my girl. Oh. Now, baby, enjoy oh, Have you tested this one? Very sweet wine. <laughs> Very sweet. 
very good wine. Very good. This is sparkling wine. Yeah, but it's very good though. Ah. Very tasty. How much is this one? This one is five thousand five hundred. Ah, Marka, five thousand five hundred. Ah, why are you adding money to this one? Uh, Whenever you see me, you add money. I did not add money. Though. I did not. Everything, everything, top money. Are you not in Nigeria? If you can't see, can't you hear? Everything is expensive. I understand. I understand, I understand the situation of the country. I understand. Eh? I don't know where this country is headed to. I don't know. Don't worry, all will be fine. Mm -hmm. Only God. God. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So give me another one. I want something high. I need to be high. Hi. Why? So you know, take me no to four nine. Just chill. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen this wine. It's very nice though. Very nice. I've seen this. Although yeah. it has some alcohol in it. <laughs> I know you like it. Let me take this too. Alright. I'm Maka, I'm Maka. I miss you. I miss you. Alone. Don't hit us. Chinedu, why are you threatening your father? Because he told him to go and sell the only land he has to give you money so that he will go and lavish it as he lavished the other one before. Eh? Um, Biana Endoka, did you come here to insult me or what? Get in up, Will you shut up? Shut up, Bia Chinedu. So you don't have shame, Chinedu. Hey! Your father sold a piece of land and gave you the money. He realized from the land to start up a business. You went and used less the money and came back home. He begged our in-law, Paul. Yes. And the young man sent you abroad. You went there, you misbehaved and came back again. How many of your mates did their father do what your father did for you? Now, if he sells the remaining land, what will your own children inherit in future? Now your jemba. Okweli juwa fun e kuku muaka. Yeah. Tell my father to do the right thing. And you are here talking about children or no children. Go ahead e kuku muaka here. Yeah, chile do. Look at this guy. Chile do. What are one that kung? Yeah, yeah, go na. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, go. What you are going to Okay. No, no. Odim, 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 ki kuku nangu. Come for threatening your father's life. You go now and buy a cock, big one, white big cock, head of Kola Nut. Oju bara eno, one galon of pine wine. Unku ele ete ana tohom mini. Then come and uh, ask your father for forgiveness. Failing to do so, then I will personally report you to the Ngene Ishinasa, the ghost of our land. Make shh, shut up! Don't talk. The ghosts are involved. Huh? Remove your hand from the pocket. They didn't be cool. Please, I am begging. Oh, I am very sorry. I am begging on his behalf. He is going to get all those items you just mentioned now to apologize to his father. Be cool, no get with ya. Oh, be cool. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. That is better. I am going to pull out that car. On your collar. Yes. All crop plants cannot grow taller than the owner. Hey, can you see Now we work on our passion. But they don't want to learn again. Why don't you want to learn again? So you want to become a little bully boy in my house? Hey, Junior, will you learn from your sister? Don't worry, I have to buy you bobo, okay? Okay. What is it? Junior, stand up for your hand. No, 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 I do not want to sit down. I'm quite busy before you call me, so tell me whatever you want to say. Well, 
I'm grossly disappointed that after calling you to plead with you for a change, that you still left your duties in this house for your younger sister, Juliet. Wait, wait, wait. Is that why you called me to disrupt my ears with your rubbish? Sandra. Yes! That is my name. Look, Mr. Man, I was quite busy with my account balancing before you called me to disrupt my calls. Excuse me, and if you don't have anything important to say, do not ever call me. It's quite unfortunate that you're the one running my family for me. So this hardly that you're the one taking the responsibilities of a wife, which your sister is supposed to. So first of all, thank you very much. Rapport, I understand your feelings, eh? Come talk to her and I know she will change. You know we are not bad people now. You, you've seen my mom, my dad, and me too. We're not bad people. I shall talk to her and I know she will change. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Daddy, I said Juliet and Bill were taking care of me and Junior. Daddy, I love her too. Me too. Big boy, you see, <clears throat> mommy is a very nice person. She's one of the best mother ever. But it's just that her business is not giving her time to take care of you guys. But I promise you what, in no time, she will have the whole attention for you. Are you sure? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes, thank you. Why? Go back. Yes, I can hear you. You know, manager, this time around I would uh, prefer 15,000 bullets and tell the ones. Yes. No, no, the, the previous ones are cleared. They were cleared and the other ones, you know. It's alright. Guy, man, you are loving money too much. Get out of my phone. Get out. Manager will talk to you tomorrow. Is that right? Wow. <sighs> Baby. Yes, then. The most handsome man. <laughs> my heart beats. <laughs> Baby. Yes. What about the money I asked you for? Which money? The five million naira I asked you for. The truth is that I don't have money to give to you now. Yes. When you, when you started this business, when you talked about it, I gave you two million naira to start it. Hold on. This manager is still calling back. I gave you two million naira to start up the business. Now you're talking of five million naira. I don't have it. Come on, I, I where do you expect me to get it from? Huh? You see your life? You see that you're the cause of all the problems happening in the family. Just five million naira to support my dreams, my vision. My business, you refuse to give it to me. Huh? So where do you expect me to get that money for? What are you talking about? No, tell me. What are you talking about? Hmm. How much have I not sunk into this business? No, tell me. I know how many millions I've sunk in this, your business, and all to no avail. Now you are asking me to give you additional 5 million naira. From where? No, tell me from where. I don't have it. 
I have no plans for it and I'm not planning over it and I will never plan for it and I'm not going to sleep and think about it. Get it? You have it. Just that you're being stingy about it. What is five million naira? You can afford it, I know that. You're complaining about five million naira when, when others are giving their wives 15 million naira to open business and do other uh, things for themselves. Just five million naira. That is where you're complaining, shouting, and routing. Where do you expect me to get that money from? Should I? Should, you're my husband. Eh? Where do you expect me to get that money from? Is it my fault? Eh? Dollar is high. Everything is high. So it's not my fault. You should, you should, you should, you should know that. So please, I don't, I, I don't expect to hear that from you. I beg. Just, just sign that check and give it to me. Oh. Yes, sign it. Fine, okay? Hmm? Sister, his sickness is very, very serious. You know what? Go to my side table. You will see some money there. Visit it and take him to the hospital. Sister, I don't understand. I should go to your side table in your room and get money. Take your own son to the hospital. Sister, you have to stay back and, and take do what? I should leave my club meeting and stay back to babysit Junior. Is that what you're saying? What are you doing in this house? What is your work? Hmm? <coughs> Look, I'm running late. I do not have such time right now. Okay? Mom, I don't understand. Can you try to tell me that your meeting is more important than my brother Junior? In fact, your son. Will you shut up? I said shut up. Shut up. And who are you to subject me to this question? Huh? You see this your mouth? I will twist it one day. I will twist your mouth one day. 
Look, take him to the hospital, okay? I'll tell that when he returns, sir. Take him to the hospital. Um, Grace, your brother gave me something to give to you, okay? Really? I'll just go inside and change, then I'll, I'll get it for you later. Okay. Let me sort it. Hey, Junior! Junior! Junior, what is it? Junior! 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 Junior. You told me that it's not that serious. Junior! Oh my god. Wait, Junior, wait. Junior, are you okay? Get me water, get me water. Junior! 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 Hey, Jesus. Where's my phone? Junior! Junior! Junior, wait! Hey, Jesus, my sister. Junior, get me the water! Junior! Hey! Look, say what you want to say. I really need to go and rest. I'm really, really tired right now. Wow. Clap for yourself. Applaud yourself. How could you place your activities over your family? Huh? Junior took ill and you pretended as if you never knew you were sick. <coughs> sorry, sorry. You're just a bunch of disgrace. And you're a bunch of disgrace too. Didn't I tell Julia to take money from my side table and take him to the hospital? Or you just want to shout, rant as usual? The more you talk, the more you tell me how empty your brain is. You are just so insensitive. Honestly. <laughs> just listen to yourself. Talk. You told your sister to take money and, 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 and take your son to the hospital. The child you carried in your womb for nine months. Nine whole months. What? Huh? Oh. So your sister is not supposed to be carrying out your responsibilities as a mother and a wife. Now tell me, oh beloved wife, your sister should be carrying out your responsibilities. I'm so ashamed of you. Shame on you. And I'm also ashamed of you too. Shame on you too. You're talking as if I'm mischievous here. You don't even understand what is going on. The kind of position I'm, I'm, I'm carrying right now. I'm the overall secretary general of the club. And what do you expect me to do? To kill myself? Hello? Ha! Huh. Oh, please. Your activities with that club end tonight. And I mean it. Never. Never. It will never happen over my dead body. You know why? Because I am a moving train. Forward ever, backward never. I am unstoppable. Hello? It will not happen. Sister. Stop now. Don't talk like that. Hey! Shut up! Opaka! Did I invite you in this matter? Mind your limits. Junior. Sir. Leave the kids inside. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I will see you before you sleep, okay? You are pushing me too hard. You are really pushing me too hard. Oh, my, what you do? Oh, watch your back. Amaka. Do you know that my husband laughs at every little thing I do? He has never appreciated me for once. 
He, he complains of every single thing I do. And secondly, he always finds a way to hatch quarrel between both of us. You see, yesterday, Junior was sick. And I was running late for my club meeting. And I told my sister to take Junior to the hospital. That's all. My husband said a manner of thing. He was just complaining about it. I didn't do anything wrong now. Sandra, <laughs> wait till you mean your son took ill and left him with your younger sister, yes. Juliet. My blood, my younger sister. <laughs> Sandra, hey, Daria, you failed it. Hey, Daria, now. It's your son we are talking about. How? How? In everything I do. I put my family first. Every other thing is secondary. Ah, I don't Explain to me. I don't get okay. it. Okay. Listen. Sandra, your family is your takeoff point. Do not push your husband outside. You have to sit up, Sandra. I don't understand you. <laughs> I know why I'm telling you this. Because you are my friend. Sandra, I have to be blunt about that. Do not allow your husband to start looking outside. Who? Who are you talking about? Your husband. <laughs> Come on, Mark. my husband is not capable. He, he can't even do it. Do not push him. It's not possible. I know his capability. Don't get it. He can't even toast the woman. He doesn't have the lyrics, my sister. He's shy about it. Ah, you think so? Yeah, during the proposal, it was me that was even... He even not want to put the ring. Juliet. Sir? Did you say something? Um, yes. But your food is ready. No, I'm hungry. Hey, brother. I knew it because of my sister. But I'm because um, I'm sorry. Eh? You call me. Thank you for your kind son. Thank you very much. So, I should, I should dish the food for you. Good afternoon. How is business? Fine, thank you. Well, um, I actually came to discuss something with you. Okay. Uh, let's go inside. No, 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 we can talk here. 
It's about my wife, your friend. What's the problem? The only thing that bothers my wife is going from one place to another in this entire Enugu city. Just jumping from one club, one party to another. That's the only thing that gives her joy. If I'm dying, my wife doesn't care. My wife doesn't know when to feed the children. She doesn't know when they are hungry. Could you believe that my children took ill? My wife never showed any form of concern. Listen, I, I came to talk to you now because she's your friend. Help me talk sense into her empty score. Please. Thank you for letting me know. But please, calm down. The truth is that I spoke with your wife the other day I went to her shop. And she told me she had an argument with you. And I told her a good woman used her home as written in the book of Proverbs. Please, I shall talk to her once again. Just calm down, please. The truth is that the whole thing is no longer funny to me. It is no longer funny and I do not know how long I can hold it. I've heard it up to 100. Like it's, it's up to 100. Please, just help me talk to her. I will, I will. I will. Sorry, thank you very much. Eh? Let me run along. I need to go back to the office. No, 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 no. no. Come and take some Come on. Come on. Thank you. Please, Paul, calm down, okay? Calm down. I will talk to her.